So now that you have your league and your members, what's next? So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a commissioner and you can go ahead and see what the league admin page looks like. So here we can see who our members are, what their roles are, if I need to remove people I can. Over here is for the draft order. Right now it's set up for Jon Snow to go first and Gregor Klein to go second. I can change that if I want to. Down here I get to pick what the event is. Right now we're looking at the 2016 games. So down here we have the draft board. The only person who can access the draft board is the commissioner. The commissioner is the person with the uh, entire control of the the league. They're the one who can remove members of the league. They can change the draft order. They can choose the event. In this case, the only thing that they're going to be able to choose is the 2016 games. But they're also the only person who has access to the draft board. So the best way for you to actually run your draft is to bring everyone together either in person or over a Google Hangout or FaceTime or something. So everyone can at least interact with the commissioner and let them know what their pick is and when so that the commissioner can assign the correct athlete to the correct team. Now the way that the other team owners are going to know who's available and who isn't is on the event athlete roster. Once we have our event chosen, we can hit that event athlete roster, opens it up in a new window, and you can send this link to all the other members of your league and they can keep track of who is and who is not available. You can see we have our males up here in blue, our teams are in green, and our women are in this red purplish color. It's organized by alphabetical for regions, so Atlantic, California, Central, East, etc, etc. Going back to the league, we have our draft order, we have our roster, we're good to go. If you are ready to start drafting, you can see that your team is going to be made up of this number of athletes. So you get three males, three females, and one team member. And it will not allow you to draft you know, multiples or any, any other different combination than this. You can draft it in any order you want, and the drop-down menu is organized by the same idea, men teams and finally your women and again it's organized by alphabetical region so from here you can go ahead and start our draft now it works like a snake draft so Jon Snow goes first Gregor Clegane goes second and then in the next round it's opposite so we're just gonna go ahead and fill this draft board up it's picking based off of whoever's first available on the board, so it's probably going to pick all the Atlantics first. But that doesn't really change our situation here. Now that we have our board filled up, if we go back to that event roster, you can see that suddenly these athletes that were picked are all blacked out, and they're no longer available. And that happens as the event is going on, as the draft is happening. You'll see that these are being blacked out as they're being picked. So back to our team. Let's say, for example, uh, Grigor changes his mind. He doesn't want Gary Helmick, and you're feeling like a good commissioner. You can just go ahead and hit that and choose to remove the athlete. Then just pick whoever they want. Let's say they want Vellner instead. Draft. Boom. Suddenly you're full again. So you've got your team set, and you're ready to have some action. On the scoreboard is where you're going to be able to keep track of all of this. So this is the same page that we were on before, but once you hit your names, now that you have your full team, you can see your entire roster underneath your name. From here you can see we have our events across the top and totals on the right hand side. So as events occur at the games, their points are going to be filled in and total on the right side and then the absolute total is going to go up here. So you can get a quick look as to who's winning and who's losing uh, in this sort of uh, deconstructed version, or you can open up and see who's your biggest performers. And as the event goes on and totals are being added together, the order is going to change. So let's say Gregor ends up being in the lead, he's going to pop up to the top and Jon Snow's going to go to the bottom.
On top of that, the scoreboard is mobile friendly. So you can send the actual scoreboard link to someone and they can check it on their phone. It does all the same shenanigans as we just went over and you can make it into a homepage icon so that you can easily check it on the go without having to go back onto the website on a desktop device. All right, folks, that is the Flow Elite Fantasy Beta. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, flowfantasy at flowsports.tv. That's F-L-O, fantasy at flowsports, F-L-O, sports.tv. And we'll be more than happy to help out, answer any questions you've got. We're really pumped about this. I hope you guys are super pumped about it as well. And I think it's going to be really amazing. So hang in there, see what it's like, and let us know what you think.